Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nikki Clark. Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Show here live, 8 p.m. on www.thatchannel.com. How's everybody feeling? Uh, that's what I like to hear. We're bringing the energy and we're bringing the fun here every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. And we've got a hot show tonight. Uh, but before we get into it, what's it time for? Hot topics, that's right. And uh, unfortunately, my good friend in Maypen, Jamaica, Kareen, is not going to be with us tonight. She's actually having a little vacation time at the Hedonism in the Grill. So I hope she has a great time. And uh, we do have a stand in who uh, is going to help me out. DJ Ringa, how you doing? I'm all right. How's everybody tonight? <laughs> How's your week been? Well, you know, it's been really busy, but I got to talk about one thing first. Okay, what are we talking the about? The weather. What's up with the weather? Mm, 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 mm. It is too cold. I don't know <laughs> if I should wear, you know, uh, like a halter top or a parka. Like, it just keeps changing so drastically. I know, I, I'm I know. feeling that. No, well, I guess. Welcome to Toronto, huh? <laughs> Welcome to Connecticut. Welcome to Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. Uh, wasn't there a, a child christened today? It was Prince George. That's what I hear. The royal baby was christened today. And um, I don't, I, I mean, it's not confirmed, but I think there were some royal family members that were not invited. That's to, what I heard too. That's what I heard too. Now, I don't so. know if the one that wasn't invited came to Canada. It, it, that could be it. <laughs> 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 Maybe that's the one. Is, is she in Toronto? Yes, yes, yes. And, and can somebody help me? Who, who was it? Uh, that a Princess, Princess Anne. Anne. Okay. Okay. Falling out? Yeah, well, I don't or know. Or just vacation time planned. I don't know. But I saw wrong. the baby on TV earlier today, and I mean, Baby was in a dress, but I don't know if that's how they do their christening. I think that's the christening gown All deal. Right. Unisex right, christening gown. I was like, hold gown. on a second. I know it was a baby boy. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what's up with this uh, dress. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Prince George was uh, christened today in uh, the yeah. Anglican Church, Church of England. Did you, did you know my father is an Anglican priest? No, I never did that. Yeah, yeah, in Jamaica. Oh. Yeah, so... Um, have kind of a link to the Anglican Church that okay, way okay. through my papa. <laughs> but uh, Rob Ford, can he not stay out of trouble? <sighs> Is trouble his middle name or what? Every newspaper I'm telling in the last week, I am just like, wow. Now his driver, what was his name again? Alexander Lisi. What's up with him? Drug charges? Not looking good, huh? Well, Rob Ford said he's a good friend of his and he has not never even seen him smoke a cigarette, so. I don't know. So people are investigating this friendship that how, you know, what's the deal with the, uh, the rapport they have? Yeah. I don't know. Do you think someone's really trying hard to get him out of government, let's well, say? Well, you know what? I have a feeling. Because <laughs> this has been going on too For long. For some time yeah, now. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it, it just keeps getting um, uglier and uglier. uglier so and uglier, yeah. we'll see what happens with that. So what's going on with sports? Well... Our famous Toronto Maple Leafs are seven and three. Let's give it up for the Maple Leafs. Go Leafs, go! And uh, I believe they're playing tomorrow night, and uh, they beat Anaheim last night. And, Sweet. Uh, one of their main guys, Clark uh, Clarkson, I believe his name is. He was suspended for ten games, but he'll be back tomorrow night, and uh, the fire will be turned up. You know. All right, back on track. That's right. And the Raptors are playing tonight, aren't they? That's right. Although they're in exhibition, they're also doing good. I think they're five and two or something like okay. that. So they're playing Memphis. Playing Memphis. Memphis, yeah. Okay, Memphis, all right. Yeah. So we'll see how they... The Grizzlies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see how things work out tonight. I hope they do. I'll keep my fingers crossed for the Raptors. You know, I haven't been to a Raptors game. What's really? up with that? No, it's, we need to make, make a change. We need to make, yeah. yeah, clapping, encourage me. Yeah, I need to go. <laughs> Someone needs to take me, please. Yes, please. and the Argos made the playoffs. So let's All give right. it up for the Argos. Yeah. Hey, hey, speaking of Argos, uh -huh. do you know that we have a guest who was a former Argos cheerleader? Really? Who would that yeah. be? Yeah, Elvira Hopper. We're going to be talking about her cheerleading days. I think she's cheerleading tomorrow with some alumni okay. uh, of the uh, cheerleaders. So we'll talk about that when nice, she comes and nice. sits with me. And yeah, so it's been a busy week and we've got a busy show. So without further ado, 
Um, I'd like to introduce uh, some great guests. We have the playwright for the smash hit play, The Ultimate Sacrifice, Cheryl Nemhard here. She's going to be talking to us about all the wonderful community efforts that she's been involved in. And then Vilra Hopper, uh, as we just mentioned, she's going to be talking about all the great things. She's a multipreneur. It, it, amazing things that she's up to. And we have hot performances by KP, King of Punchlines, and Don Hatali. So you don't mm. want to go anywhere. Mm. You made the right stop. Nikki Clark Show will be right back. We have the inspirational speaker, Elvira Hopper, here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. That's you look wonderful. lovely. And you're wearing jewelry that you've made. Yes, I am. Thanks for noticing. Yes, the, these gorgeous. are a couple of pieces I love. They're very popular. Uh, I call them Tif Tiffany inspired as opposed I to Tiffany knockoffs. <laughs> and uh, earrings as well. So, yeah. yeah. Well, how I, long I, have I you been doing that? Um, I've been making jewelry for, oh gosh, I guess getting close to about 10 years now. Yeah. Ten years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and is it mostly the silver pieces or is um, it? I make precious? everything. Okay. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Like semi precious. Um, this is silver plated. Um, yeah. I work with all materials. Yeah. yeah. So let's backtrack yeah. a little. You left a six figure corporate position to define your own Elvira Hopper. Mm. I like the way you put that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 
What inspired you to do that? That takes a lot of courage. Yeah, it does. And for me, the courage came um, not easily because when you work for a pharmaceutical company, um, the largest one in Europe, third largest in the world, it's, uh, it's hard to walk away. Sure. Um, they got you by golden handcuffs. <laughs> so I ended up um, having to go through a negative situation in order to get to my, my uh, utopia. Uh, which is now. I'm thrilled with my life and what I do. So basically, yeah, it was um, it was a negative situation. What happened is I ended up uh, competing with a colleague for uh, the boss's job. He got he got let go, and we competed, right. and it got nasty, mm. and I was bullied for two years. Wow. So yeah, and I went into depression. And simultaneously, I was being bullied in a uh, social group as well. When you say bullied, you yeah. mean uh, what name calling? What what was the bullying? Um, it was the kind of bullying that's actually going on right now with Pamela Wallen and um, and Prime Minister Harper. Uh, if you kind of think about politically, you know, she she feels like she's being attacked, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. how I felt too. Politically, I was attacked. Um, just because I competed with a colleague, and you know, he wanted the job and and right. took me down. I walked into meetings. I never, no longer felt comfortable. Right. I used to love it. Right. All of a sudden, I kind felt of whispering like whispering. Yeah, exactly, your back. Yeah. the to behind your mm -hmm. back. So yeah, it was very, very hard for me. And because I have a family history of depression, anxiety, mm -hmm. panic disorder, um, that's the first place I go. You go to when when you you're when you're you trying know. to cope. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So uh, so being bullied uh, socially and and as well within this group of former Argo cheerleaders, actually. Yes. And uh, so it was it was very difficult for two years. But then. I realized, okay, this is happening for a reason. Mm -hmm. I'm not meant to do this job anymore. And I had to really do some soul searching and go, what is it you really, really want to do? Right. And inside my heart, I knew I wanted to become a life coach. Right. So I actually went on a leave of absence. And a month later, my company restructured and gave me a package. So I was never going to go back to the job because I was studying to become a coach. Yes. But yet, the universe supported me, I believe, because um, you know this was now my calling. And right. so when you step into your power and own your power, I was able to rip the sign that said, kick me off my back, because I was showing up as a victim. And that's why these people were right. bullying me. And yes. when I ripped that off, everything started spiraling upwards. So I ended up becoming a life coach and turned inspirational speaker because I tell this story now yes. and I empower youth. So I knew that I had to go through that for a reason and that is now to empower youth and I'm doing that at several talks. I'm actually, I've got a few coming up in the next month. I'm so excited about uh, just to help youth realize that they can take their power back. Right. They can rip the sign that says kick me off their back. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's actually, a, uh, people call it a movement, the love your vibe it movement. Is. Yeah. So it's about staying in a higher vibration and not being a victim. So it's based on the law of attraction and it's it's quite interesting and, and people tell me it's transforming them. So I know that I'm just humbly serving in yes. my, I can, I call it my why, you know, the world helped by exactly. me, you know, mm -hmm. that's what why stands for, mm -hmm. world helped by you. So I believe it's my why and it just came through me. Mm -hmm. And uh, so sometimes negative situations take you to, to a positive uh, place. Yeah. So it, it could be a secret blessing. That's it the way was, I look at it, it was totally, yeah. And I believe too, when you step into what you're supposed to do, the universe can Inspires to exactly. get you what you need. Exactly. And I love your vibe, by the way. Oh, I love yours. <laughs> so let's That's talk about I'm... VAP. Yes. Yeah, you know me. You know me. <laughs> well, the VAP is a, a great place to be. Um, I always say the VAP is a place to be because the, your VAP is basically where you live with passion and joy and gratitude and it feels good, you know? Feel good. And yeah, so you're in your VAP a lot because you're doing exactly what you're meant to do, you know? So you know people that are connected to their their calling, you know, when they're, they're in the zone and they feel good and you just see them and they vibrate really well and so it's it's really a great place and I I'm there 90 percent of the time life happens to me I go to those negative For places sure. you know yeah. I get angry I get you know I feel guilty I feel fear ego but then when I step back up and do the things that I love to do like make jewelry like sing like dance like act these are all things that I do as well I I'm connected to my authentic power these are the things God gave me and I call them authentic yes and it's like I almost feel like a beam is coming down from above that allows me to do the things that I do in a very honest way it's authentic so it's it's really and people are gravitating towards that energy because they, it's real, you absolutely. know, and as they gravitate to you. And so, and then I, I meet amazing people as I live in that energy space, you know, so it's, it's basically, you know, if, if you think about the law of attraction scale of zero to 10, yes. it's like a seven, eight or a nine. If you can live there most of your time, mm -hmm. you're doing all right and life's good. 
life yeah, surely is yeah. good. <laughs> now you do so many things um, besides the inspirational speaking. You do the jewelry, and you also you are on a new venture with chocolate yes, from the UK. Yes. Can you oh, tell me about I'm that? so excited! I love yeah some chocolate. <laughs> well, actually, your next guest <laughs> was just in the UK and had some, so she she enjoyed Cheryl, it. Cheryl, yeah, yeah, Cheryl, yeah. So it's not chocolate, and uh, it comes from it's handmade in the UK. It's all natural. There's no added colorings, flavorings, preservatives. My son brought it when he went on a school trip back uh, not this past April, but the April before. Before. and I honestly fell in love with this chocolate and I decided I can't live without it <laughs> so they didn't sell it in Canada and they didn't ship it to Canada so I said you want to bring it to Canada and they said sure so now I'm the sole distributor that's fantastic yeah. and I have to sample some of the chocolate yeah absolutely. but um, you were an Argos cheerleader and yes. you're gonna be doing some cheerleading tomorrow yes, for yes. a great cause let's talk about that quickly yes it's a great cause well I say it's a championship uh, team fighting for a championship cause um, or a champion cause it's uh, it's basically fighting for women's cancer it's called Pink Day, Fantastic. and uh, it's the Argos. I think they're playing the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. I'm not sure. Uh, but <laughs> we'll check with Johnny. <laughs> yeah, but I belong to a group of, of alumni cheerleaders, yes. and we're going on the field at halftime, and we're dancing to um, Pat Benatar, Hit Me With Your Best Shot, and Shania Twain, Man, I Feel Like a Woman, with two other groups of, of cheerleaders as well, the, the present day ones and a group that came after us. So there's 100 girls that That's are going to be on the field. That's going to be so a beautiful really excited. celebration. Yeah. 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 How can people find you? Um, I'm at www. Oh, you don't have to say that anymore. <laughs> ElvirahHopper.com. And uh, I'm also a Coach Elvira Hopper on Facebook. And you can follow me on Twitter at Evie Hopper. So, yeah. Okay. I would love to connect. Yeah. That, that's wonderful. Yeah. And, I, and I'm going to come in. Um, we're we're going to look at some of this jewelry samples. Yes. Because I, I love what you're wearing right yes. now. Yes. I'm going to make you some great stuff. Can you take <laughs> us out to break with a quick cheer? Put you on a the spot. Quick cheer. Oh, my God. That's what they pay me to do. <laughs> Okay, how I'll, about... I'll do it with you. Argo! Argo! <laughs> we'll be right back with a performance by Don Hatali. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Thank you.
for uh, tuning in to uh, www.thatchannel.com and we have another guest, our performance by Don Hatali from Rwanda. He's got a single that he's just released called Don Nations. Put your hands together for Don Hatali. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Nikki, for having me on your show. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Hope you like the song. It's called Don Nation. It's all about uh, doing donations, so giving, you know, so a nation of giving. Woo! If you never give up, put your fist up. You're gonna see love back. See, love is a mystery. Everybody knows that. Let's make history. Everybody loves that. Time is a luxury, rhyme is a mastery Belong in a gallery, forget about the factory X was a factor, it's all about the salary They try to make me lose it like thousands of calories Back to the music, back for the glory Hatali, I'm trying to make a tooth If you want to, you can make a donation If you got to, you can take a donation And I got you, welcome to my donation Don't say no lie if you want to, you can make a donation. If you got to, you can take a donation. And I got you, welcome to my donation. Don't say no lie. She was moving slowly to moms like a goalie. I think that you're lonely. You think that you're Hollywood, Bollywood, Nollywood, to jolly good. I'm sorry, just hold on. I take you to the party, got friends in Africa, America, Latina, smile Mona Lisa. Let me take a picture, picture this moment, dancing forever. I do it for the fans, now I do it for my teeth. I do it with my hands, only drop it when it's hot. And I did it for years, you can put it in your ears. Supply in the cheese, I can buy in the beer. If, if you, you want, want to, you can, can make, make a donation. donation. If you got to, you can take a donation. And I got you, welcome to my donation. Don't say no lie. If you want to, you can make a donation. If you got to, you can take a donation. And I got you, welcome to my donation. Don't say no lie. Everybody, oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, 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 hey, oh, I do it for the masses, oh, oh. In session, we're building a nation. Life is a lesson. I've been on a mission more than the vision you see on television. You can take job me, I love so job. If you want, you can make a donation. If you got to, you can take a donation. And I got you, welcome to my donation. Don't say no lie. If you want, you can make a donation. If you got to, you can take a donation. And I got you, welcome to my donation. Everybody if sing donation. You can make a donation. If, if you got to, you can take a donation. And I got you, welcome to my donation. Don't say no lie. One more. If you want to, you can make a donation. If you got to, you can take a donation. And I got you, welcome to my donation. Don't say no lie. If you want to, you can make a donation. If you got to, you can take a donation. And I got you, welcome to my donation. Don't say no lie. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Donation. Make a donation. Don Hatali, thank you very much. And uh, where can people find you quickly? Uh, you can find me on donatali.com. That's my main website. I also have Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. You can find all those links on donatali.com and make a donation. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we're going to be right back with our next guest, Shell Nemhart. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>
Welcome back uh, to the Nikki Clark Show. We are here with the lovely co-founder of Excusia Media Corp, Cheryl Nemhard. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? It is so exciting to be here, Nikki. Thank you. I'm yeah. so glad that you're here and uh, you look absolutely stunning. Thank you. It's a bit of deja vu, though, because I was with you three years ago. Three years ago, yes. With uh, And the Beat Goes On. When it was And the Beat Goes On. And now here you are. Look and at you. Thank you. And the Beat Moving Goes On. on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on up. And I can say the same for you. You have done so much in, uh, in the span of, um, how long have you been doing? Um, I, I've been a playwright for just under a decade, seems to be the theme, yeah. uh, just under a decade. Uh, but I launched my theater company three years ago. Okay. And in three years, we would have never imagined just just the traction and what's been happening. Now give me the, the pronunciation. It's exousia. Exousia, gotcha. You've got to get fancy with it. Yeah, it's exousia. exousia. Do it's it a, a Greek flourish. word. It's a Greek word. Yeah. What made you choose that word? Because uh, it means authority, power, um, the right to do something. And so we, we as a theater company, we do what we do, not just because we love it or we're passionate, but because we have a right to address certain things. Absolutely. So we're really unique. We use theater to address the issues that are really plaguing our society and affecting definitely the generation behind us. And your yeah. focus is gospel theater. Yeah, we do it through gospel musicals, gospel theater. Um, you know, uh, I keep hearing the TP word around me, uh, <laughs> Tyler Ferry. Uh, <laughs> I am Cheryl Nemhart. Yeah. But uh, but that's exactly kind of what we do. Oh, that's a, a beautiful thing. And mm -hmm. and your um, build to what you do now has a lot to do with your heart for the community. Absolutely. And uh, you you've done quite a number of things to rehabilitate youth. Can you talk about that? Yeah. Um, so it, it really stems from uh, just a, a life of living in uh, tough neighborhoods. Uh, in you know in around government housing and just really seeing and experiencing the best and the worst of our community right. um, after getting my uh, you know my theatrical training and my uh, artistic training I re decided to use it in a very creative way so I became a, a creative director for Toronto City Mission and I used arts to uh, reach and to engage at-risk youth Okay. And it was an amazing light bulb moment because you know the days of basketball, drop-in centers, sports, that's played out. They don't, they're they done with that. Done with that. Um, but break dancing, painting, art, singing, dancing, you know, poetry, that stuff, they're so engaged. And the amazing equation was that the most broken, the most so-called damaged, was the most gifted, the Look most brilliant. And a light bulb went off for me at that point. Yeah. And that's that's incredible and congratulations for you know doing that and mm -hmm. for the movement that you set mm -hmm. uh, with um, everything and the, the the team behind you too yeah you we we went from just a dream and an idea and now EMG has over 67 actors singers dancers um, all young in their 20s uh, people that are just really passionate about changing and and just impacting lives through the art fantastic mm -hmm. you have a production coming up November 2nd is that yes. right called the ultimate sacrifice yes now this debuted a few years ago but it's coming back yeah, yeah. it's 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 kind of our uh, you know they say third time's the charm yeah. so <laughs> this is our third and final time the first time we debuted it was 2009 at the Downsview Soundstage at my church, which is Rayma Ministries. And uh, we saw over, I think, about three or 4,000 people come through. We turned away Fantastic. about 700 people. Are you kidding? Yeah, That's it was amazing. insane. Um, and then we, uh, we kind of got kicked out because we were, we were outgrowing our, <laughs> our church. And we went to, uh, we have the honor of saying that we are the first Canadian still gospel, musical anything at a Mervish stage. So we were at the Panasonic Theater mm -hmm. in 2010, uh, right smack dab in the G20. Right in the D20. Yes. Um, but we sold out. You did. We sold out. You, you know, I don't know how, if they must have taken a mule because the TTCs <laughs> were down. And uh, I don't know how they got there, but they got there. And it was an incredible, incredible journey. And now we're doing one last performance. And the performance is November 2nd. Where is that? November 2nd. It's uh, at Global Kingdom. And that is at 1250 Markham Road in Scarborough. It's right at Markham and 401. Um, it's a beautiful venue. It seats about 1,800, 1,500, 1,800 people. And it's our way of saying goodbye because now it's, it's, it's gone international. We just came back from the UK. Now, speaking of international, we've got another short film coming up called The Sun. Yes, um, I sh I, we've gone into film. So last year we shot a film called The Sun, and it's a film that addresses fatherlessness and how it really relates to the, I guess, the core issue of many of the at-risk youth that we're dealing with, gangs and so on. So we submitted that. It's a beautiful, powerful 50-minute short film, and it has 15 film festival nominations right now to date and five That's awards. That's huge. Yeah. Audience, give it's it crazy. Up. I'm so 
proud yeah. of you. Thank you. It's, it's, yeah, the last one we were in the UK and, and we got the letter and I, it was in a film festival in Atlanta and, it, and I just got another one saying that's 15 and I've just, I don't know what's happening, but to God be the glory. To God be the glory, absolutely. Yeah. So let's take a little uh, look now at the video clip and we'll come back and talk yeah. more about uh, the ultimate sacrifice. Take a look. You, Xavier, are hereby being released after having served eight year sentence of attempted murder of one Darian Matthew. He's mad because I'm telling people about Christ. They're planning to kill you. No! He was once the most notorious gang leader around. Now, a warrior for God. From 25 to life to a second chance, Man, you can't even tell us the same guy. I just want to get out of this neighborhood. I got my money. I got my rep. I'm strong. I don't need anybody. I'm in control of my life. Ain't none of us going to make it out of this. I dreamt of this day. You really think you can change those streets? Me? Nah. But God, can the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice, and it looks like it's a holistic production. It's got a little, little bit of dance, yeah. uh, a little bit of you know, the acting, and what else? Uh, well, the media calls it a edge, of, edge of your seat theater. It is a heart-stopping two hours. It's just, uh, it's powerful. The best gospel voices in Toronto are in it. Um, we have dance, break dance troops. We have uh, liturgical dance troops. We have the best of the best, and it's just uh, two hours of nonstop entertainment. Fantastic. So that's November 2nd and yes. it's going to be at the Global. At Global Kingdom. Uh, tickets are $30. You can get tickets uh, at our box office, www. I keep saying www. We don't need to say that <laughs> anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, kbtickets.com uh, or you can go to Faith Family Bookstore if you uh, know where that is at McCown and 41 in Scarborough or a beautiful restaurant called Gospel Cafe in Mississauga. Uh, I know the owner of the Gospel Cafe. Awesome. It's, it's a great place. It is a great place. Great food. Mm -hmm. um, it's been an honor having Thank you. you here. And I really I would love for you to come back and talk yeah. more about your projects. Absolutely. And where can people find you if they want to reach out to you? Uh, they can go to exusiamedia.com. Uh, they can also go to uh, theultimatesacrifice.ca. Uh, my Twitter is Cheryl Nemhard, and um, we have another play called My Brother's Keeper. Play.com. They can find it anywhere. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. and, and uh, they'll find me there, November second. Yes, we they will. Hollering and hooting in, mm -hmm. in the audience. So. We got to get you in the VIP section because <laughs> you're VIP. Oh, oh well, that's that's what I like. Yeah, that's Thank right. you very much. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much again. Thank you. And uh, we're going to be right back with our. Uh, final performance, uh, the uh, incredible KP, King of Punchlines. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For tuning in all right i hope you enjoyed the show we had uh, some incredible guests and we're going to close the show with canadian lyrical designer entrepreneur and rapper kp king of punchlines my song my single search the world Let's do this. yeah Looking for that perfect girl. Yeah. Someone we'll search the world. Oh, say the world's small cause we don't go anywhere. Search it, search it. Oh, 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 search it, search it.
chicks they be ill, they come in all different colors like Canada bills, but I'ma book me a fly, find somebody that's real, say that life is a bitch, take it down to Brazil, so tropical at the carnival in Rio, I'm at Teresa, party animal, can't say but yo, she's surely not a keeper, botanical, I'm in a preacher, now she turned into a believer, left me standing like a statue, told me Christ is the redeemer, here we go, Mexico took Molly on a quick date, Tokido's big steak, then I made the chick pay, tryna get laid, college girl in Cancun on spring break, chill Molly all night in a damn room till spring break, wake and bake, it's too late, smoked on my Buddha, big snake like Medusa, made on a cruise to Aruba, to try a different angle, then I got lost in Bermuda, I'll have Anna if I can cross in the tuba. This can be family like Bushu history She tried French kissing me Smack the free ticket please Your real Sicily Blondie on me Let's roam through Italy Catch a show at the Coliseum Then go off a slice of pizza Shopping spree my visa I ain't wanna lean on Tower Pisa Now I'm swerving on this German About to tear them walls up Berlin, she feel the passion, don't understand her accent But she still gon' get grease, never been to I acting done, I done, I done seen the same old Looking for something new Gotta make a move, find something I used to For the perfect girl, I would search the same old chicks Looking for someone like Heard her when she wanted me to meet her dad Three works in a new deli In new deli, been married already But she didn't tell me, talking about I'm feeling ya Let's kill her, she want a ball Told her I ain't in India while chilling at the Taj Mahal BBM cause Ping won't take my late call Trying to speak, I gotta climb the Great Wall Deep down under Sydney, wasn't acting right I'm a dog, meet me out back tonight in Antarctica Met the coldest gold diggers in my life How the heck you gon' be my wife when I catch you stealing my ice? Travel through six continents and still no wedding band Go where my heart is at, headed to the motherland I same old I see Looking for something new Looking for you Gotta make a move, find something I used to For the perfect girl I would search the same old chicks I'm looking, looking for someone like you I'm looking. Don't be a fool Cause I'm something you ain't used to For the perfect girl I would search the world Oh, you're welcome Woo! That was a hot track thank you, thank you, thank So it's called Search the World you know what, I have a feeling, I'm a little bit of a psychic, that you're going to find a perfect girl after that performance because oh, the yeah. whole world's been watching you. I already have one, but... You know, oh, you have one? Maybe. How maybe. does she feel about the song? <laughs> oh, that's good, that's that's, it's all good, it's all good. No, that's great. And I, I understand that you perform with Jadakiss. Oh, that's yeah. huge. And Tech Nine, too. When was that? Um, that was December last year, actually. Wow, yeah. it's huge. And, and what's coming up next? Um, right now, I'm just finishing my EPK. Get my songs on the radio international, you know. Okay, are working you working on my album right now, Compress Concepts, also. So let's look out for that one right there. Okay, when is it gonna drop? Um, next year sometime. Next year, okay. And um, I have a big track called Work coming out. Yeah. Know? Yeah, let's look out for that one. So I like one turkey, you know. So. That that is amazing. Okay, well, yeah. where can people find you? Um, you can find me at um, 
kingofpunchlines.com or you can find me at King Punchlines on Twitter at King of Punchlines on Facebook. You know, I have to say something. Whenever I think of punchlines, I think of a comedian. Oh, yeah? Why why'd you choose that? Honestly, um, they used to call me Punch before, right? Eh? And then everyone said, you know what? Like, yo, the way your writing skills are so good, you're like the king of this. Like, no one can rap like you. No one has, like, the way you write. Like, so pretty much got named that. I never named myself that, you know? So. Okay, well, you got crowned king of punchlines, and I can see why. Yeah, thank you. All thank right. you. Appreciate thank you so much. We're going to be right back after this short break. Don't go anywhere. Come back. Come back. <laughs> To be a guest of the Nikki Clark Show, please contact 
show was filmed in front of a live studio audience.